BBC Radio Stoke. Oh, how romantic love is definitely in the air. We're about to meet our 1940s singer. What a treat as well. Don't go anywhere. Her voice is amazing. Truth Washington. She's on the way after a brilliant tune from Send the Star. I feel like I've just stepped in to call the midwife. <laughs> Ruth Washington is with us looking fantastic. Oh, thank you. You're a real wower, you are, girl. Look at you. Vintage head to toe. You look amazing. <laughs> See, Thank the, you. the people I know, and this includes like my sister as well, we dabble a little bit. It's like I've got a 60s dress on today, but my sister loves 40s. Yeah. But you live the 1940s, don't Every, you? Everything about the bygone eras for me is, is as I said before, when I was on the radio before, um, that I just love everything about that era. Um, and going into the early 1950s as well, everything, everything about that era was just so wonderful. Um, so, yeah. You look sensational. I'm going to have to describe how fantastic she looks. <laughs> uh, do you buy all this vintage then, or do you make? Don't we tell you where this cape is from? The um, Six Towns Antique Emporium. Is it? And I go in there all the time, and, and I love it in there. And I get some amazing bargains, vintage bargains. And then the dress I've got on is true 1950s as well. Um, so that's a black and white print 50s dress. So yes. Is that a velour cape you've got as yeah, well? Um, yeah, the, the cape is velour. Got that from the Antique Emporium. And then put the mustard gloves, vintage gloves and mustard belt in to match the hood in my in my cape. And you're a redhead. She's <laughs> fiery. Redhead. Beautiful long red hair. And last time we met, you were trying to teach me how to do the victory, the roll yes. curls. I've got a few in today, but um, they aren't as big as they were before. Um, I've, I'm hiding them a little bit because of the bad weather today. So I had to put a little bit more air spray on to keep it intact because the wind today is like a hurricane. It is freezing as well, isn't it? Yes. You're from Birch's Head, aren't you? I am, yes. So when did it change from thinking, you know, the same as like I'm describing, going, oh, I like delving a little bit and I like a bit, you know, vintage clothing. When did it change from that to just living it head to toe? When it was a few, well, it was about three or four years ago. I've always loved the um, bygone eras and the vintage eras and everything, the music, the, the people, Doris Day, Vera Lynn. I've always loved it from a very young age. And, and it wasn't until about three or four years ago that I actually thought, you know what, I love it so much that I want to express how much I love it. And I wasn't afraid of what people said. And, and now it's become the norm that when people see me out and they see that I'm dressed like this, they don't think it's it's bizarre or out of the ordinary it's just the norm oh, it's me. really eye-catching i think you look fantastic <laughs> thank you um i'm gonna shut up because i know well we're all waiting to hear your incredible thank voice you. which song are you gonna go for i'm gonna sing it's magic by doris day oh, i love that song it's ruth okay. washington you say the song begins you speak and I violins, it's magic. The stars desert the skies to rush to nestle in your eyes. It's magic where there's a golden wand or a mystic charm. Fantastic things begin when I am in your arms. When we walk hand in hand, the world becomes a wonderland. It's magic. How else can I explain the rainbows when there is no rain? It's magic. I try and tell myself these things that happen are all really true. But in my heart I know the magic is my love for you. What a voice just transported us all back to the 1940s. <laughs> um, I know we've chatted before and uh, it was lovely how you got into listening to the records. Was it through your grandma? It was. My grandfather and grandmother, I have them to thank for the love I have for the 40s and the 50s, yes. I love, I, I miss them dearly um, and I really, really wish they were here because 
just to be able to for them to know what I do now with the songs and how I um, go about life and how I live my life just in so much love with the the 40s and the 50s they'd be so proud and and I do miss them dearly, but I know they're probably there, out there somewhere looking looking down on me. Have we got time to squeeze another song? We do it for we your have. gran and granddad yes, as yeah. well. Were they from Birch's Head as well? Are they in the potteries? Snow Green, yes. Snow Green, yes. so not far away. Yeah. Which song would you go for? This is true 1940s, World War II. This is a Nightingale sang in Barclay Square. Oh, perfect choice. Thanks, Ruth. That certain night, the night we met, there was magic abroad in the air. There were angels dining at the Ritz, and a nightingale sang in Berkeley Square. I may be right, I may be wrong, but I'm perfectly willing to swear that when you turned and smiled at me, a nightingale sang in Berkeley Square. Gorgeous voice. Ruth Washington, thank you so much. No, thank you for having me. Thank P- you. Perfect for Valentine's Day as well. <laughs> Taking us all back at BBC Radio Stoke to the 1940s. You've got lots of gigs coming up. You're busy, aren't you, all the yeah, time? Yeah, I've actually finished it. Was it a last minute gig today and I've just come from it and come straight here and then I'm quite I'm at the quarter in Hanley on Saturday night and I love the quarter so yeah I'm looking forward to that uh, but no thank you for having me I've, I've really enjoyed it thank you you're welcome anytime thanks so much Ruth Washington uh, have a lovely night whatever you're up to Stuart George is on the way I'm back tomorrow from one with Neil Morrissey can't wait for that here's Chris Rea and Road to Hell